Today, we're in Palm Springs, California, at one of the leading hotels of the world. Once owned by the Singing Cowboy, this 13-acre desert oasis is a favorite hiding spot for celebrities and has an eclectic style only designer Jonathan Adler can come up with. Welcome to Places of Interest. This is the Parker Palm Springs. Arriving at the Parker, the sound of flowing water and the gentle rustle of palm leaves welcomes you. You then get to pass through their world-famous entrance. Tall orange doors set behind the iconic cinder block Brie Soleil. Unmistakable. But before we go in, here's some handy facts for you. The Parker boasts 12 villas, 144 rooms, three pools, 225 palm trees, four tennis courts, one fire pit, six fountains, 15 lemon trees, one spa, and one giant banana. Most luxury properties nowadays play it safe with a clean, minimal aesthetic. The Parker never did, and probably never will do minimal. As you move through this space, you're spoilt for choice on what to lay your eyes upon. Do you immediately understand what the fuss is all about? You find yourself in their stunning foyer and reception, setting you up for what to expect for the rest of your stay. Parker being the Parker, attract celebrities, artists and creatives from all over the world. As a matter of fact, we have Belgian photographer Bart Kuykens visiting who regularly stays here on his trips to California. Hello Bart, how's it going? Hello Everhouse, welcome to the Parker. I'm coming here for a couple of years now to get new inspiration for the project I'm working on. I do get inspiration at home as well, but here it's completely different because I'm in the desert, I'm alone here. I enjoy the nature, so for me it's a super interesting place. The Paca has a special place in my heart. Two years ago, I took an interesting shot from inside the foyer and photographed a beautiful classic Porsche parked outside. And that's one of the pictures I use when I do exhibitions. There's many great spots at this hotel, and one of the pools is my favorite. Right next to the pool is the lemonade stand. It's just perfect to get a fresh cocktail and relax in peace and quiet. With the parker sitting in the middle of the valley, the location is perfect for growing citrus trees. So when Palm Springs gives you lemons, you make lemonade. 15 lemon trees worth of lemons are handpicked for their famous freshly squeezed lemonade. Among the 144 rooms, the cherry on the cake has to be the Jean Autry House. Known as the Singing Cowboy and owner of the Los Angeles Angels, Autry purchased the property in 1961 turning it into the team's spring training base known as Melody Ranch. Taken over in 2003 by hotelier Jack Parker, he transformed it using Jonathan Adler's magic touch. Adler then revamped its design in 2017, hand-picking all the items himself, cranking the Hollywood glam factor all the way up to 11. In the primary, you get a larger-than-life office with a life-sized elephant head. How many people can say they slept with an elephant looking over them? This villa also has a few tricks up its sleeve. In the bathroom, you'll find a nice original Autry movie poster. Oh, and it doubles as a hidden door to the cinema room? Well, I didn't see that coming. And if your neck is in a knot, you can always get a massage in the private massage room and then blow off some steam in the sauna room. The mid-century architectural layout offers some great spots both in and outside, with private areas in the courtyard and surrounding garden. Its cool, clean lines both contrast and complement the lush greenery, giving you the best of both worlds. But enough about the villa, let's check in on Bart and see what he's up to. The difference in the experience between day and night here is amazing. During the day it's nice and sunny with the desert weather and at night it becomes all very mysterious 
uh, almost with a Twin Peaks vibe. Maybe the most intriguing spot here is Mr. Parker's, the restaurant. You should really visit if you're ever here, it's a whole experience. It's just beautiful to be here, to walk around here, to be inspired. It's a very interesting place for me to come here and to enjoy my time to relax and to work on new and different projects. And with that, we conclude another episode. So if you're ever in Palm Springs, come treat yourself at the Parker. If you like this episode, please do subscribe. And as the kids would say, smash that like button. See you next time. <laughs>